now it's time for the admin table so admin table will include let's say I will say simply admin will include simple thing like name like email and phone number because it's uh, our person so we need his phone number email name phone number then status whether it is active or not active then role which is very important so instead of giving the role here what I will do I will create new table which is called admin underscore role table so in this table I will give the relation between roles so I will say admin underscore role uh, admin underscore ID and role underscore ID so we need a role table also where we will define the role so role will have the name of the role okay and every table obviously have an ID so I'm not giving ID here so simply the role have has, has the name and the role name is related to admin via admin underscore roles table so that will be roles okay so here we have the role defining for particular admin and accordingly we are uh, giving the permission to the admin to have access to the various parts of our block system so one more thing we have to create a system for role adding and deleting or editing that means crud part of role also so this is the table structure and let's now open terminal and let's create these uh, um, tables on our Laravel project so I will go to blog here I will simply say php artisan make I will directly create model and give a flag of m so m means create migrations also so my table name first table name is post so post and create the migration also hit enter okay only one dash hit enter and yes migration is created successfully for this so let's close this one go to database and migrations and here we have create users table password reset yeah the posts table so we need post table have some body or the firstly the title so title which will be a string simply then we have the body we have decided the body has to be text type and then and then let's see what we have yeah we have subtitle also so after the title we will give subtitle and this has to be not more than 100 and title is not more than 256 cap okay so after that we have slug we have to create slug here so slug also be a string but it has to be 100 again so then status will be boolean so after body I will create status which is boolean that means either 0 or 1 then we have body we have completed posted by okay so then posted by so posted by then it has to be integer integer and, and after integer and the posted by we need image so image that will be a string and I'll say image here similarly like and dislike and that should be boolean so I will copy this from here this will be like not boolean it will be integer integer and again integer for dislike okay so we have completed our posts table let's create category and tag table so same thing but here now tag refresh yeah we have this now tag table is here which only need one thing which is name and slug so here comes the name which is a string and slug again a string so slug okay and we have completed this similarly 
we need a category table category table same thing so I will copy this from here close this go here paste it here so category is also done then we have category underscore post table so same thing category underscore post hit migration and now and now here we need two things again which is post underscore id then category underscore id and that both has to be integer okay so similarly tag post underscore tag and you know I have given this like category underscore post and post underscore tag because it's like alphabetical so C comes first before P so that's why category comes first af and then post but T will come later after P so that's why it's post underscore tag so that's here hit enter same thing so I will copy here close this and paste it here so here cat instead of category I will say tag and everything is good now comes the admin table so that should be inside let's say I will create a folder called admin and let's create a folder called model and inside model I will create a folder called admin and inside admin I will create admin table or the model for the table so hit enter and now here we need name email phone and status so let's open for this one user we have so that should be like email password everything we need let's copy this and paste it here so let's see yes everything is good so email name password email name password and phone phone number we need so phone phone is here and it should be okay it doesn't matter so okay phone is here then the status so status so status will be a boolean thing so boolean yeah okay so next is role table so again inside this I will say role table which will simply get one thing called name so name of the role and oops <laughs> a string has to be a string okay and next the final is admin underscore role and I think now you know why it's admin underscore role not role underscore admin okay so here it is and it need like these two things we have so copy this and paste it here and now we need instead of post underscore id i will need admin underscore id and instead of this i will say role so every table is now completed let's do one thing we have to move these tables so blog what is that blog and admin panel ah i don't know what is this let's delete this okay so we have to move all these model inside our model so i will copy these things so this till user and cut it from here create folder called user and inside that folder let's paste everything so yes we have everything now inside post but now one more changes we have to do because now we are inside app slash model slash the name space is uh, that should be backslash okay name slash model slash user so that should be for everywhere so that means here I have to look this before we have created but doesn't matter we know how to do these things 
so this is for you because you don't have to make many changes okay so now everything is here so we have not saved this yes everything is done let's do one thing which is called php artisan migrate but before that we have to connect our database so i will go here and create one database so how will i create it okay yeah add database so i will say blog dash series and that should nice so we have the database name of blog dash series you know it is root and password is empty save this file and just refresh this no not one this one we have to refresh okay where it is yeah here it is so we have to restart our server so that our server know about the changes we have made in dot env file so migrate so php artisan migrate migrate let's hit enter and yes we have every table here with us every table is here okay so you can see how much easy is to do these things but you have to think about everything first then you have to write the migration then it will be very easy and i'm sure we need to change something in our database because as we go along we will find that we need something in our something change in our database and we will do that thing later but here is the basic structure of our series and the database we have created so we will meet in the next episode and do some again awesome stuffs so till then don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram if you have any problem please please share with me i will help you and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye